Today we'll be talking about Kanye West. The war between Kanye West and Kim Kardashian has started again. Kim has put North back on TikTok after Kanye West has asked her not to. Her boyfriend P also messaged Kanye with a few words. Let's get into this video to see what Kanye West has to say. Hey everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said, it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I'm not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. Let's take a look at the video that Kim and North did together on TikTok. Do y'all think this is appropriate for an eight-year-old girl? This is what Kanye West said on his post. I told y'all before about this TikTok stuff. Now my eight-year-old on here singing, she fell in love with an emo girl. Lepses don't want fathers to have no say in our children's lives. I don't want my kids at Godless Sierra Canyon School. I got a voice and I'm not having this. And Perez Hilton, you still ain't answered my question and never put my name next to the word abuse. Don't play with my name like that. I'm a real person who wants the best for my children. And D.L. Hughley is a pun. Yeah, I know a king not supposed to address a pun, but... I address everything and find the dress is DL, so don't speak on me or my children. I can afford to hurt you. And then he wrote, We're going to stop letting practicing drug addicts be used by leftists to willy lynch our future black people with our own opinion or not allowed to speak in public. I'm, a gl I'm the glitch, DL. God does not like you. You have no favor. Your family hates you. I would hate to be related to somebody who used to be famous. Now you're just known as a broke pun. At least Oprah got billions, allegedly. Come on, leftists. Y'all got to do better than DL. This J bring the real smoke, baby. Show your real face, Charlemagne. Just don't hit the same, do he? Who y'all going to get now? God is with us, and you send DL to be against us? You've lost. No brilliant Hebrews will bow to y'all no more. Only dumb, drug addict house. Don't play me, and don't play with God. Anybody related to DL, call Chris McLean and address for Yeezys. They not free, though. We running the business over here. He just getting ran. You see Skeet missing work? Anybody else want to play with me? Please, 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 for the love of God, come and get me. Let's see how it turns out. Now let's get back into the rest of the video. And then when people say, oh, they're going to use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether or not they went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50-50 custody with with in society today that's not that's not even it always leans towards the mom but right now and i'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what i dealt with you understand what i'm saying so when we had the donda 2 release in miami i got a flight for all my kids to come from calabasas to come in miami to see the kids then uh, assistant uh, hit me and said, all the kids, you know, the, they said the kids are there. When the plane took off, I got a text from Kim that said, uh, North won't be on the plane. You see, this is the kind of stuff that's just like the Chicago birthday party. And I'm glad that y'all saw in the variety piece what I have to deal with. Here go another thing. The Doves high school basketball game. We hold one in California. My my daughter loves basketball. I want her to see the league that her father is starting. North can't go to that game. Now we got Sunday service in the morning, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. And it's North had a sleepover, so she can't come to Sunday service. I moved the Sunday service up to 10 a.m. so that I can go to St. Soccer game at 1230. Move the entire thing. In my opinion, I think that North doesn't want to see her dad because he doesn't want her on TikTok. Instead of Kim telling her that she needs to spend time with her dad, she is letting North do what she wants to do. I don't care what anybody says. Kanye is right. Most fathers have no say so and it's very sad. It seems like once a woman gets with another guy, she doesn't want the real father nowhere around. 
It is so easy to co-parent. Just don't worry about anything except the kids. Don't worry about the, what the ex is doing or the boyfriend or girlfriend. It's simple. I think fathers need more parental rights. Let's watch some more of this video. At this point, it's, it's, it's going too far. God, please. The boyfriend texts me antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought I thought publicly for a year and a half has been I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife? And and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the uh you know i got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce because every time i finish the show the free hoover show the next day she dropping the last night every time i do some positive it's some negative that's coming i go and get the laptop from ray j then is she joking about divorce i go and get the lawyer change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce and then somehow i'm the one that's let's take a stalk. look at pete's messages he said, yo, it's Skeet. Can you please take a second and calm down? It's 8 a.m. It don't got to be like this. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing. And you are so lucky that she's your kid's mom. I've decided I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm done being quiet. Grow the F up. Kanye responded by saying, oh, you using profanity? Where are you right now? Then Pete said, in bed with your wife. Wow. Then he sent a picture of him in the bed. And if you look closely, you can see Kim written on his chest. So he got a tattoo of Kim's name. Like, what's up with all these people getting tattoos of their boyfriend and girlfriend's name on their body? Like, they're really going to be together forever. It may be real in the moment, but relationships are mostly temporary these days. But back to the story. Kanye said, happy to see you're out the hospital in rehab. Pete said, same here. It's wonders what those places do when you go get help. You should try it. I'm in LA for the day. If you want to stop being a little internet B boy and talk. Then Pete said, you don't scare me, bro. Your actions are so pee and embarrassing. It's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. Kanye said, you're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. Then Pete replied, why don't we meet after Sunday service in Saints game? I'll be at the BHH. We can have food and talk it out in my room privately, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. What, are, what you are doing to your family is dangerous and going to scare them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. Kanye said, you want to see me? Come to Sunday service. I do not think it's right for Pete to be talking trash to Kanye and Kim laying right beside him, not trying to stop it. This is very messy. Then he got the nerve to bring up Kanye's son, Saint. I think Pete wanted to strike a nerve with that one, but Kanye responded gracefully. Let's get back into the rest of the video. Kanye's prayer. God, I just need to protect my ch you protect the children. You ch I know our nannies, some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, today and have them bring my children to Sunday service this morning. The devil ain't going to win. You get what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Kim gets black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of, Hillary. You understand the setup right here? You understand the narrative right here? God, please, in your son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, please make sure my kids come to Sunday service. Kim, you are not right. You are not right. I do not see a crazy man here. I see a father who is fighting to be in his children's life. He does not want his daughter to be like Kim in the Ray J tape. Kim knows exactly what she is doing. She wants people to attack Kanye because the heat was on her for telling people to get off their butts and work. She knew if she made a TikTok of North, Kanye was going to spaz. And she knew if Pete texted Kanye, he was going to say something. Let's take a look at what she said. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. Kim and Kanye, please get it together for the kids. What are y'all thoughts on this situation? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.